This video, um, what we're going to do is a casted shadow from a cube. So in order to do that, um, we have to first draw a cube. So I'm just going to draw, not really a cube, some form of a rectangle, also known as cuboid. So I'm just going to draw a parallel line drawing of a cube. And I'm trying to just guesstimate the parallel lines. Typically I'll use two sliding tra transparent triangles to get perfect parallel lines. In this case, I'm unable to find my triangle, so I'm just going to uh, do my best to make the lines parallel on my own. Okay, so I have this um, cube here in space. And the next thing I want to do, I'm just going to use uh, a blue color pencil to draw this. But the next thing I want to do is I want to have a light source coming from this direction. So this will be a light source coming from this direction. Um, this diagonal is important because I'm going to use that diagonal to cast the shadow. So I'm going to draw a line using my blue pencil from this corner down. Okay. And then... Um, from this corner down and this back corner down. You won't be able to see the back corner, so I'll use these, um, a broken line in the back. So that's the back corner there. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I don't think I missed one. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the direction of the light as well. So if it's coming from the left, depending on how low or high or the axis of the sun, and in this case, I'm just gonna do something really simple and easy. I'm gonna make a line parallel to the bottom of the paper, <clears throat> straight across. Okay, I'm gonna do that there. I'll also draw that same line here and I have to draw the back corner as well, but in order to put that line in, I have to draw this cube as if it's transparent. Again, it's not a perfect cube, it's a cuboid, but whatever. All right, so that goes here. This goes there, and they should all meet at the same spot right there in the back, so that's your transparent cube. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a horizontal line coming from that back corner, but I'm gonna make the line broken so you can kind of know that that's transparent and then when it comes out I'll keep it uh, straight or continuous. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'll get a different colored pencil and I'm going to get uh, see where this blue line intersects this red line. I'm going to put a little green dot there and see where this blue line intersects this red line here. I'm going to put a little green dot here. In theory where these lines meet should be a perfect parallel line to this line here. Same thing right here. So um, see where this line hits this guy and it hits this dotted line right here. I'm gonna put a little dot here. I'm gonna put a little dot here. I'm gonna connect those two and then I'm gonna make the line broken because this is the transparent part. So basically, that's a casted shadow. All I have to do is just fill this section in right here. And that's the casted shadow from that cube with the light diagonal coming from this direction. And then also from this direction, the axis of the light comes from this direction as well. So if I were to move a light around, you could kind of move the shadow accordingly. I could have also drawn this line down here on a diagonal this way. I could have continued with this line here. I could have gone in this direction. I could have pushed it back here. So I could have pushed the, um, the shadow going in this direction. 
Um, and I could have kept this the same, or I could also change that as well. So there's a lot of different variations that you can apply to this. All right.